Okay, here's what's inside the run cap. A uh, little tube, and what it is is actually layers of an insulating material and layers of aluminum foil. I'm going to uh, kind of disassemble this thing, and you can see what they're actually made up of. Okay, there's a little plastic coating on it, and you can see now I've got this uh, aluminum looking stuff. And what that is is very thin aluminum uh, foil. And I'm going to peel some of that off and we'll take a look at what, uh, what it looks like inside. Okay, this is what this stuff is, uh, what these things are made of. This is very, very thin aluminum foil. And a little bit thicker piece of plastic insulation. And you can see it's just bonded on there. Or not bonded, but there's there's a piece of this insulation. And uh, here's your aluminum foil here. But there's a piece of this insulation between the two pieces of this. So as we start taking this off, and of course the aluminum is very delicate and breaks off easily, but you can see the insulation is right there. Uh, you've got this aluminum foil, extremely thin, and then there is the plastic between them. Okay, to better understand this stuff, what I'm going to do now, I've got an ohmmeter set up here. And I've got this aluminum foil. Now there's a plastic bonded to this, and extremely thin. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across here like that. And you can see, I don't have continuity there. There's nothing. Now, I'm going to turn this on its backside. And if you look close, you can see there's a little more sheen to this. And you can see now, I actually have continuity. Okay, that's because the aluminum foil is on this side. And the very thin plastic is bonded to the other side. Uh, so... That's how these are done. It's just a roll full of this stuff. And it's insulated from each other. And when you charge it, uh, it gets an unbalanced charge in there and holds the charge. Sometimes it'll hold it for a long time. But that's how these are put together. Okay, to kind of give you an idea, I've unrolled this 45 microfarad capacitor. And I've laid it out in a lawn. Okay, that's a total length uh, where this rock is right there. It went down one way and halfway back the other. That's about 200 feet. So there's about 200 feet of that stuff in there. Or here's another way to look at it as I piled it all together. Now the only thing left I got to do is put it back on the roll. Uh, not. Probably not going to reassemble this one.